Hello everyone, back with an IRS tax refund update. We continue to monitor the latest developments this tax season as the two developing stories, including those taxpayers experiencing extended delays who are now reporting receiving a refund hold notice by the IRS. So we're going to take a look at that and developing news overnight of the IRS updating those tax transcripts with that next refund release date many of you have been waiting on. So we'll cover that as well. Now, many taxpayers continuing to experience delays in the processing of their refunds are encountering refund status results such as this. Now, if you're seeing tax topic 152, that does not indicate a problem. Rather, this is a normal tax return processing code. Meanwhile, others may not see any tax topic code. If you're encountering this message, but with tax topic code 151, that means your tax return has been set aside for further examination and potential audit. If you fall under this category, the best thing to do is check those tax transcripts and look for either code 420 or 424. Code 420 indicates an audit, while code 424 indicates it has been set aside for further examination and does not necessarily mean a full audit will occur. Now, a growing number of taxpayers are indicating they are receiving this notice from the IRS in the mail, which is the CP05 notice indicating there is a hold on the taxpayer's refund until further examination is completed. Do note this does not indicate you are being audited. Now, this can be due to a conflict in earnings, credits, or taxes withheld reported on a filed tax return versus what the IRS computer system is showing. One example would be an employer has entered the wrong Social Security number into their payroll system, which then in turn gets transmitted to the IRS when company taxes are submitted. So now all of a sudden taxpayers are filing their taxes with this reported income, but the IRS has no record because the employer has entered the incorrect information causing a conflict. Also cases of employers not submitting all employees W-2s to the IRS stemming from clerical errors. Now a more serious version of this notice is the CP-05A, which means the IRS has identified incorrect information such as reported income and tax withholdings and now requires you to submit additional information to them to substantiate what you entered on your returns such as pay stubs or business bank statements. This is going to be a much timelier process considering the IRS document backlog, but that refund will remain on hold until a final decision is made. Meanwhile, developing news overnight with the latest update of tax transcripts has taken place and those with cycle codes ending in 05 are reporting seeing their refund date now set for Wednesday, March 30th as seen here. Keep in mind that the IRS refund status results page may not have the most up-to-date information, so it is important to check those tax transcripts. Let us know in the comment section below what problem you're currently experiencing and if you've received your refund as of yet. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.